we will discuss how to find partial differential equation of all planes which are at a constant distance a from the origin. So, from the coordinate geometry we know that the equation of the plane that is at a perpendicular distance a from the origin is L x plus m y plus n z equal to a where L m n are direction cosines of the normal to the plane and L square plus m square plus n square equal to 1. So, now here L m n are arbitrary constants. So, for forming the partial differential equation we have to eliminate the arbitrary constants. So, since we have two relations connecting these arbitrary constants, we can reduce uh, the number of arbitrary constants into 2 by using the second equation. So, now from second equation we can find the value for n. So, n square is equal to 1 minus L square minus m square therefore, n equal to 1 square root of 1 minus L square minus m square. Now, we will substitute this value in equation number 1 so that we can write it as L x plus m y plus square root of 1 minus L square minus m square z equal to a. Now, then we can see that there are only two arbitrary constants L and m in third equation and also there are two independent variables that is x and y. Therefore, the resultant partial differential equation will be of first order. So, we will find out first order partial derivatives from equation number 3. For that, we will differentiate equation number 3 partially with respect to x. So, derivative of L x is L and now into 1 and derivative of m y is 0 with respect to x and now derivative of third term is 1 minus L square minus m square constant. So, we will get dou z by dou x. We can differentiate z with respect to x and you will get dou z by dou x and we can denote dou z by dou x by small letter p. So, therefore, this is equal to 0. So, now from this one we can write the value for L. So, L is written as minus square root of 1 minus L square minus M square P. Now, we differentiate equation number 3 partially with respect to Y. So, then derivative of Lx is 0, derivative of My is M into 1 plus square root of 1 minus L square minus M square. Now, derivative of Z with respect to Y is dou Z by dou Y. So, we can write it as Q that is equal to 0. Now, from here we can write the value for M. So, now M is square root of minus square root of 1 minus L square minus M square. Q. So, now we got the an expression for L, M and an expression for N. So, we will substitute all these values in equation number 1. So, that equation number 1 becomes. So, now substitute L, M and N in equation number 1. So, that is minus square root of 1 minus L square minus M square into P x minus square root of 1 minus L square minus M square Q y plus N z. N is square root of 1 minus L square minus M square z equal to A. So, now here 
we can see that square root of 1 minus L square minus M square is a common factor. So, we can write it as minus P X minus Q Y plus Z equal to A divided by square root of 1 minus L square minus M square. Now, since this equation contains P and Q, it is a partial differential equation but still it contains arbitrary constants L and M. So, we have to eliminate these L and M for that we use the relation L square plus M square plus N square equal to 1. So, now in this one we will substitute the value for L and M and N. So, now L is minus square root of 1 minus L square minus M square into P Therefore, L square is 1 minus L square minus M square into P square and now M square you substitute M square it is 1 minus L square minus M square into Q square and now N square N is 1 minus N square is 1 minus L square minus M square this is equal to 1. So, now from here we can write p square plus q square plus 1 is 1 by 1 minus l square minus m square. So, now we can substitute this value in equation number 1. So, therefore, 1 by square root of 1 minus l square minus m square will be square root of p square plus q square plus 1. So, now equation 4 becomes minus p x minus q y plus z equal to a into p square plus q square plus 1 to the power 1 by 2 or we can write it as z equal to p x plus q y plus a into p square plus q square plus 1 the whole raise to 1 by 2. So, this is the required partial differential equation for the planes that are at a constant perpendicular distance A from the origin.